child jobs are built the same as regular jobs in Talon Studio and can therefore be executed fully on their own. They're stored in the repository and can be exported to other projects. Using child jobs allows a developer to narrow down any faults to a specific child job, which makes debugging the execution easier. For example, here we have separate jobs to read sales data from a database, retrieve customer data from a CRM, and a third job to generate reports using the customer and sales data. The parent job orchestrates the execution of child jobs using a dedicated T run job component identified by its green icon. The child jobs can be executed in parallel or sequentially, depending on how the respective T run job components have been chained in the parent job. In this case, we can see that the parent job was built to ensure that the child jobs are executed sequentially in the following order read sales data, retrieve customer data, and export customer sales reports. If required, each child job can execute more child jobs, creating a nested execution structure. You can use context variables in your jobs to pass values between a parent and child component. When launching a child job, you have the option of sharing all context variables from the parent with the child, specifying a specific context, or overriding certain variables with values specific to the component. For example, executing a child job directly may export files to a specific folder, but when executed by a parent job, the same child job may export the files to a different folder as specified by the parent job's context variable. Now for the demo, we'll create a parent job to control one or more existing child jobs and see how to share data between the jobs up and down the hierarchy. Notice that we have two jobs in the repository named file staging and process directory. The file staging job retrieves data from a database, processes the data, and stores the output in three different files. These files are stored in a newly created folder called staging. When we run the job, we can see that the staging folder has been created and that it contains the three output files. The second job, process directory, reads the data from the files located in the staging folder, then archives this data to a separate backup folder. The job then deletes the staging folder. We now build a parent job by creating a new standard job and dragging the two existing jobs onto the canvas. Studio automatically selects and inserts the T run job component for each job. By default, all child jobs are executed in parallel. To ensure that the process directory job is executed after the file staging job, we connect a main row from the file staging job to the process directory job. When we run the parent job, notice that both child jobs are executed in sequence, and the console shows that the staging folder was deleted. The T run job component also offers the ability to override any variables used by the child jobs. Here in the parent job, we created a context with a new value for the staging directory, referencing the master context subfolder. From the component tab, we select the transmit whole context checkbox for each component so that the variables from the parent job override any variables of the same name in the child jobs. We'll run this job again and observe that this time the console shows the jobs use the new directory master context referenced in the parent job rather than the staging directory that was referenced in the child jobs.